Hey guys, in this lesson we will be talking about theories of biological evolution, Lamarckism. This is presented by me, Yogita Khandelwal. So there are various theories of biological evolution that explains the evolution of life forms, like how it uh, evolved. What are the factors that causes the evolution, the of the organism? So the first theory was given by Lamarck. So we will study here. So Lamarckism. So Lamarck was the first scientist to propose the theory of biological evolution, and also Lamarck has coined various terms like biology, invertebrates, and elida. So, uh, starting with the theory, he mentioned it in his book Philosophy is Logic. Here are the key postulates of uh, th this theory of proposed by Lamarck. So, first is internal vital force theory. tendency to increase size of organ or entire body of an organism because of an inner living force so according to lamarck all organisms have some internal forces and these forces cause the increase in the organ or the increase in the size of the entire body of an organism second postulate is doctrine of epitency desire to develop new character to fulfill need generated by changing environment so a uh, organisms are influenced by environment and the changing environment leads to new needs now these new needs or desire produce new structure or change the habits of the organism so it is the changing environment that produces the desire to develop the new character and this produces the new structures or habits of the organism use and disuse theory frequently used organ become well developed and disused organ become non functional or vestigial organ so uh, when some organism is constantly used it it is well developed it becomes well developed and if there is a disuse of some organ it leads to its degeneration so this this theory was given by lemark that if we use some organ constantly it will develop and if we don't use it it will become non functional or vestigial and thus he thinks that lemark thinks that the evolution of life form is derived by the use and disuse of the organs inheritance of acquired character character acquired by present generation is carried to the next generation so uh, in, uh, the characters that acquire is passed on to the next generation now the factors that uh, causes the evolution in life forms according to lemark is internal forces environment and new needs or desire and use in disuse of organs leads to changes in the one generation and that changes is inherited in the next generation because of inheritance of acquired character and this here and this is how the variation occurs and this eventually leads to formation of new species now examples in support of lemarckism first is evolution of long neck giraffe from short necked ancestor because of frequent stretching of neck this uh, is a very important example and it is frequently used with the term lemarckism so uh, what he said that because first firstly giraffes were short neck but because of uh, they have to reach the leaves of the high plants like acacia so they have to stretch their necks and because of this stretching because they are using the necks the uh, evolution of long neck giraffe occurred similarly aquatic birds stretch their toes and developed web evolution of limbless snake from limbed lizard like ancestor because of development of fusorial habitat now because of their digging or burrowing habitat the snakes become limbless so this is a picture depicting uh, the example of the giraffe so first it was short neck now they have to reach the plants uh, high leaves leaves present on these high high plants so they have to stretch their necks and in this process they evolved long neck criticism of lemarck's theory 
so there were four uh, postulates or concept given by lamarck which uh, is criticized so first concept that was internal vital force theory that is there is increase in body size so uh, this theory has an objection that is if we see the angiosperms then the trees are primitive and shrubs and herbs are advanced now trees that are large in size have give, given rise to herbs and shrubs which are small in size so this concept says that there is increase in size but in angiosperm it is reduction during evolution now the second concept that was the uh, environment and new needs causes production of uh, new structures so this is not true because uh, suppose i desire like i want to fly so it's not my desire that will leads to the wings that will develop wings in me or and i will be flying like birds so this uh, concept was also discarded now the third concept was use and disuse theory uh, this concept is more or less accepted but uh, like for example in a blacksmith uh, because of his use of his biceps muscle he has well developed biceps muscle and uh, similarly wings of flightless birds they are uh, reduced but it's not always true like if we take an example of a teacher or a student then we he uses his eye constantly but since there is uh, there is no increase in size or the power so this theory is more or less accepted but it is also not true then the fourth concept is inheritance of acquired trait now the acquired tra traits are not inherited for example the blacksmith uh, has acquired the uh, strong biceps muscles well developed biceps muscles but his son will not have the that muscles so the acquired traits are not inherited theory of continuity of germ plasm this theory was proposed by wisman based on rat tail cutting experiment uh, what he did did that he uh, uh, he took the rats and he cut the tail of the rats and he did it for the several generations but still in every gen in every next generation he found that the tail was of the same size almost it was not reduced or it was not completely absent or degenerated so uh, according to him every organism have two types of protoplasm somatoplasm and germplasm somatoplasm in somatic cell and germplasm in germinal cells now character present in germplasm is carried to next generation while character present in somatoplasm is not past so uh, the characters of variations that occurs in germ plasma are inherited while uh, in somatoplasm not somatoplasm dies with the death of the organism uh, this theory is in contradict uh, contradict with the theory of lamarck so that's all for this lesson thanks for watching